do you remember the the day before you sat in? <laughs> Take us there. Take us there, Jeanette. Well, let's let's go a couple of days before we sat in. Um, when the New Yorkers, uh, plus one from Mass from Boston, uh, met at Marilyn's house to actually plan the logistics, and the brother was there. He was one of the inner uh, inner Harold, circle. Yeah, Harold, Harold Buchanan. Harold, yeah, yes. <laughs> um, we should talk about him. But anyway, um, the it was really the seven sisters and the brother who determined that now is the time and who actually planned the actual logistics of this takeover. Uh, so we, we were tasked, the four of us I think were tasked with deciding when, where, how, what supplies were needed, who would do what, and so on. So this wasn't a spur of the moment, spontaneous. No. Oh, absolutely This was deliberate not. and intentional and, and had a, yeah. a met methodology behind yes. it. Yes. And the reason that we were doing this in New York is that we were on uh, Christmas break. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, at that time, the semester continued after Christmas with exams and so on. So we were going back from vacation, from Christmas vacation, and in that period before exams is when we <laughs> decided to take to sit in in the admissions office. So that meant that we had to finish the semester. We expected to finish the semester to take our exams and most of us to graduate. Mm. So and, and before we get to that, what kind of supplies? What did you <laughs> expect? You know, right. and I, I'm talking about this and it's written in a book, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but the the anatomy of yes. how you plan and organize, we need to know like what what that looks like, and who determined mm -hmm. we needed X amount of supplies. Supplies mm -hmm. for what? Bathroom yeah. breaks? Were you taking no. turns? How like, many well, days were you? Well, I mean, you need there. chains to chain up the doors. Okay. You know, that kind of supplies. Mm -hmm. We needed black uh, paper to cover the windows. Mm -hmm. We had um, non perishables like tuna fish and mm -hmm. crackers and flashlights and blankets. Mm -hmm. And how long were you planning to stay? Well, home? we weren't planning to stay as long as we did. We <laughs> thought it might have <laughs> might have been a day, a night, maybe another day. We thought they mm -hmm. were capitulate yeah, yeah. <laughs> give up the power just yeah. just like that yeah Power but the, the beautiful thing is that a couple of days in it became obvious that this was going to be a longer haul and the community came out in force Come on now. and then we had macaroni and cheese wait which, <laughs> which community Hot macaroni and cheese who was the community that came well, out because the swathmore is in pennsylvania not the philly part of pennsylvania well right. no but there's chester right all okay. right chester and, okay. Okay. All and right. media and media mm. right and so. it was on the underground railroad neighborhood so <laughs> people had history wow uh very interesting history but we got a tremendous amount of support from the churches you know churches were very active in civil rights mm. it wasn't surprising ministers came and, and they were the ones that actually mm. rescued us yeah. so but we started getting hot food it was serious <laughs> wow. i mean you know and then some of the white faculty we found out later, we didn't know, some of the more radical faculty mm. stood up for us and actually helped get meals for us from the cafeteria and helped to buy us. So we were eating pretty okay, well allies. by it. So <laughs> what was the bathroom situation like? Because that's always my yeah, most. Yeah. That's when I have to tap out. <laughs> yeah. The workers set us up for that. When wow. we gave them a heads up that we were going to do the action, I think we didn't tell them till the actual day. We, mm -hmm. we didn't even have to ask. They were ready. Mm -hmm. You know, they made sure we had supplies, paper, soap, toilet paper, mm -hmm. and they would give us the signal, you know, like the spook who sat mm -hmm. by the door. <laughs> they would give us signals when it was safe, the coast is clear. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we would kind of time our bathroom breaks when we knew it was relatively mm -hmm. safe. Yeah. So it was high drama. I mean, this was, this was the, the reward for realizing that they were part of our community. That's right. Because they they looked at us as their children mm. because we treated them as our elders. Mm. So it was a, a mutual care and concern and respect. I imagine that as they were watching you all, one, just be, come to the campus. Yes. Because it sounds like prior to you all coming, there is there is none of us. Very then you few. come, mm -hmm. and you don't just come, but you now have this extended family space. Exactly. And you as students, and this is one of the things that's so important for students to recognize, as students, you had a power and a protection that they as employees, no matter how long they had worked there, right. just did not have. Right. So by you being able to center the needs of the entire black community exactly. in that space, the least empowered portions of the community were able to then come to your assistance and help everyone benefit exactly Absolutely. Mm. exactly mm. they were it was oh, awesome yeah i mean we we had in the 50 years since we had forgotten a lot of the details in terms of where did we actually go we were so traumatized when we left out of right. there abruptly 
where exactly did we spend the next couple of days? Mm. And we tried to tease that out by visiting some of the uh, local churches. This Mm -hmm. is just a couple of years ago. And the most touching thing that one of the elders said to us when we asked, who do you think the minister was who who came to, to get us? She said, it could have been any one of the ministers wow. of the day. Any one of them would have mm-hmm. done it. They put us up in their church mm-hmm. and, you know, got vehicles for us and whisked us away you know, when they thought we were in trouble. So mm. how did it end when we're talking about? Seven <laughs> sisters and a brother, friendship, yeah, resistance, and the untold truths behind black student activism in the 1960s. Mm-hmm. Tell us. The sit-in ended uh, with the sudden death of the of the schools, the college president, mm-hmm. which we had nothing to do with. Wow. We had no idea. Did he they had a blame you for that? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Wow. absolutely. We were, Gave we him a heart vilified. attack. Yes. Yeah, we were vilified in the national media. Oh, my God. Washington and for Post, decades Which after. had to be yeah. dangerous also. Yeah. So that's why the churches came for us. Mm-hmm. The, the minute that word got out, they got oh their vehicles, God. and we, we didn't mm-hmm. know what was happening. They whisked us out of this, mm-hmm. and you've got to get out. Mm-hmm. And they just we just cleaned up. We cleaned up. And then we, <laughs> Come and we on, left. black people. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We ain't we leaving no mess. We're going to fix it. So that's but how, how, but how what is it pertain, as it came to the demands that you made, how did those yes. get resolved? So it shocked everybody. I think the, the death just galvanized everybody. Mm-hmm. And most of the demands, right, yes. were eventually granted. Mm-hmm. Um, After a lot of soul searching and meetings and um, resistance to uh, acceding to demands, even though uh, the demands themselves had merit, there was just resistance to students mm. demanding and the college right. responding immediately. Mm. Because, right. you know, of course, right. we'll do it eventually. We don't have to do it because they say do right. it right. now. Right. And if students uh-huh. think they can make these demands and take them, we'll just keep oh, happening. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. We would be yeah. emboldened. But wow. going down the 50 years later, now there are all kinds of groups for every kind of ethnic group. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's there's great diversity. And we have a black president. Mm. And that's the best Swarthmore College. Yes. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.